Hey, what's up guys, and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the new OnePlus 7T Pro against the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. The OnePlus 7T Pro is the best OnePlus phone for this year. While it does look very similar to the OnePlus 7, we do have the Snapdragon 855 Plus inside, and it's also coming with Android 10.0 version right out of the box. So it's gonna be exciting to see its performance with the Android 10 and see how it goes against the Note 10 Plus, which is the best from Samsung right now. And before we get started, a big shout out to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. NordVPN is one of the best VPN services out there in a time where it's so important to protect your data, especially when you're traveling, using public Wi-Fi, it's always better to be on the safe side. So a good, reliable and affordable VPN service is a must and that's where the NordVPN comes into play. NordVPN has one of the fastest speeds with their amazing server that gives you a worldwide access so you'll always be connected to your favorite services like Netflix, your favorite applications. You'll be able to access any geo-restricted content anywhere in the world while protecting your privacy and your data. So what are you waiting for? Check out the link in the description and use the coupon code ZTECHGEAR and get 70% off NordVPN and also an additional one month of free usage. So as always, we'll start off by booting up both phones at the same time. Here we go. And Galaxy Note 10 Plus, the logo who was a bit quicker here. I think it's gonna win. That's just my bet. Let's see. And... Seems like I was right. So the Note 10 Plus boots up quicker compared to the OnePlus 7T Pro. It was quicker compared to the OnePlus 7 Pro as well. So that is something still going on. Exynos being faster when it comes to the boot up speed. Obviously Note is still rocking Android 9.0 Pi. So we'll do the speed test again once this is updated to the Android 10 based One UI 2.0. So as always, everything is closed up in the background and with Android 10.0 update, OnePlus has implemented the gesture navigation and combined with the 90 Hertz refresh rate it actually works really smooth i would say it's very close to apple's with that being said let's just get right into the test first up i'm going to open the basic app first starting off with phone dialer and that was really quick on both phones again a bit of animation difference settings and once again it felt a bit quicker on the galaxy note 10 plus but oneplus has this like smooth animations checking out subway surfers and this is really quick on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Wow, so normally Snapdragon chipsets are really quick with the game loading times, but the Note took a solid lead there for the first game. Next, we're gonna launch Plants vs. Zombies 2, another game, and let's see which one takes the lead this time. The Note 10 Plus took some time to launch the application, but it's actually looking right on par with the OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, 70 Pro, so 70 Pro is a little bit quicker there with the Plus versus Zombies 2 game. Next up, we've got Reddit. And that was super quick on the OnePlus 70 Pro. Uh, if we just scroll around, looks smooth on both. Uh, definitely scrolling speed is a bit buttery on the OnePlus 70 Pro, uh, thanks to its 90 hertz display. Next on the list is my favorite game in the recent time, Call of Duty, which is uh, amazing. I've actually played this on uh, different phones. I've done that video comparison if you guys want to check that out on my channel. So let's see who will prevail with the loading times. And... Okay, the Note 10 Plus faster there. Uh, OnePlus 70 Pro took a little bit of time launching YouTube. And that is, I think that's a draw again. You guys are the judge here. Real quick speed uh, from both phones. And once again, scrolling is overall very smooth on both devices. Quora. And that fell a tiny bit quicker on the OnePlus 70 Pro. Let's move out. Spotify. And that's, I think, about the same. Maybe the Note 10 Plus is a tiny bit quicker. Again, you guys are the judge here. Next up, we have Instagram on both phones. And that's a little bit quicker on the OnePlus 7T Pro with the latest feed. Uh, real quick performance overall. As you can see, scrolling is nice and smooth. Loading up my profile. That's a little bit quicker on the Note. Checking out the camera launch speed. And let's try it one more time. 
Okay, it feels quicker on the OnePlus 7D Pro. Despite having the moving camera system, it is somehow launching this application faster than the Note. All right, next up, we're launching Asphalt 9. And both phones are taking some time. We have the Note 10 Plus about the same time as the OnePlus 7T Pro, so that's a draw. Next we're launching the Photoshop Express and that is about the same again on both phones. Time to load up this 8K image at the same time. That's a bit quicker on the Note 10 Plus loading on the timeline. Just gonna apply some effects, setting the vibrancy to the max as well as the sharpness to 100%. All right, time to export the image to 100% and see which one is quicker. Normally it's the Qualcomm one, but let's see. Okay, so the same result, the OnePlus 7D Pro, bit quicker with the 8K image rendering. Okay, time to launch camera at the same time on both phones. And that is way quicker on the Note 10 Plus. If we take photos on both phones at the same time, that's about the same. Feels just a little bit snappier on the Note 10 Plus. Now time for the browsing war. First website will be wwe.com and loading up at the same time. We've got Google Chrome on the 7T Pro versus Samsung's default browser on the Note 10 Plus. And you can see the OnePlus 7T Pro is definitely quicker there. Scrolling looks pretty smooth on both phones. Obviously we have a smoother result thanks to the 90 Hertz with the 7T Pro. Next we got apple.com and once again, same result, we have the 7T Pro, tiny bit quicker there, and again, scrolling speed and everything is really quick. Let's load up this link, and that's about the same on both phones. So really fast Wi-Fi performance on the 7T Pro, but let's see if it can keep the game up when it comes to the RAM management. So phone dialer, that is still there on both phones, launching the Subway Surfer application. That got refreshed on the OnePlus. So first refresh for the OnePlus 7D Pro. Now I'm gonna go ahead and launch the Plants vs Zombies 2 that is still there on the Note 10 Plus as well as OnePlus 7D Pro. So this is still in the memory. Reddit, still there. Call of Duty. And that got refreshed on the Note 10 Plus. So we have the first game refresh for this phone. So now they are even YouTube, Quora, and that got refreshed on the OnePlus 7T Pro. Launching the Spotify, that's still there. Instagram, Asphalt 9, both phones are still keeping that in the memory. Next I have Photoshop Express, that's still there on both phones. And last but not the least, we have the browsers. So all in all, really good performance on both phones, but I have to say OnePlus, there were more refreshes on this one compared to the Note 10 Plus, uh, which only had one refresh. Uh, obviously it's Android 10 and it's the first version that it's coming with. So I think with more updates, things will get better. And obviously same goes with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Once it's uh, One UI 2.0 based on Android 10 is out, we'll do the speed test once again. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you guys don't know, I'm giving away an iPhone 11 Pro. Link for that is down below in the description. So make sure to check the link in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.